Hello there and welcome back to a video by Poor Girl. In today's video we will be making a 12 by 12 canvas painting. So please sit back, relax, and let's flow to it! Alright, so what we're first going to do is we're actually going to put the paint in our cups. So we take a empty cup. I'm going to be using Cor Coral Cove Light Turquoise. I'm going to be using some white. We're also going to be using purple iris. And then obviously we're going to be needing to put our uh, gloss fluid medium in it. And then I just get a cup of water here and I just kind of add that into our mixture. It makes it a little bit more fluid. So let's go ahead. I already shook them up. I'm going to shake them up again. Just make sure they're all good and shaken up. We're just going to add the paint in. Alright, get a good amount in there because this is, this is one of my favorite colors to use and so I like using a good amount of, a, of it. And next we're going to put just a tad bit of our medium in there. I like to kind of count, so one, two, and three. Put that back over here. And you can kind of see it already started uh, mixing in there. With the water, I kind of like to just gauge it, so I'm going to kind of pour a little bit in there. And that's probably good. When I say a little bit, it's a little bit. So we're just going to go ahead and stir this all together here. You can always gauge to see if it's done. Um, or needs more medium if it flows pretty well, which this is flowing kind of well. Put a little bit more water in there just to help it a little bit. There we go. You don't want too much. You can always add, you can never take out. Okay? So I am, and I apologize for the lighting. My garage has automatic lights in it. That's where I'm at right now. So there's using the one light that stays on all the time. So I do apologize for that, but it looks pretty good. Let's check it. Yeah, that's really good. So we just have to do that with the rest of our colors here. back and ready to go. Got all of our colors mixed together here. So we got our white, we got our purple, we've got our coral, and then we've also got our turquoise. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to put them all in this cup. So I'm going to add all of those colors into the cup and I'm going to layer them. So I like to use white first just so it like helps blend the colors. So I'm just going to add that in there first. 
save some for in a minute. And I like to mix the colors on the canvas just because, as you can see, I already got some on there. It, if you get paint on your canvas, you're getting paint on there anyways. So then I like to do a little bit of a darker color on top of a white. Just kind of mix it a little bit. And like I said, you leave some for in a little bit. We're going to go ahead and do our coral color next. It's kind of being clumpy when pouring in there, but it is pretty fluid. I'm just pushing it in um, into the mixture, to, so that's why it's clumpy whenever it's pouring. Then we're going to do our turquoise color. him in there. Um, if you're doing this at home definitely remember to scrape the sides of your cup because that way you get the use of all of the paint that you mixed up and that way you're not wasting any paint you're not uh, missing out on the amount of paint you can use. So after this I'm going to add a little bit more of that white that we have left over. Actually, going to move these cups out of the way. There's a little bit left in there that I can use, but we're going to put some more white in there on top. So we utilize as much as we can. Like I said, scrape around the cup. Make sure you're getting all the paint you can. There we go. Move that out of the way. And do a little bit of the purple. We're not going to use all of it um, in this pour just because we don't want to overpower it with the purple. Purple is a strong color since it's a darker color. It is a stronger color so it is overpowering on some of these lighter colors. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and scrape the bottom of the cup. Make sure I get all that I can out of it. I'm just going to help it along here that in and then in a minute we're gonna turn the canvas over on top of the cup which is the technique is called a flip cup a dirty pour flip cup sounds really weird I know but that's okay <laughs> because when we say a dirty cup is because we're putting all of these colors in one cup so if you can see let me kind of zoom in here a little bit on the let's kind of zoom in just a little bit here you can see here we have all of our colors kind of um, layered in there and that's kind of that's what's called a dirty pour and then whenever I say flip cup is when you take the canvas oops, wrong way sorry about that you take your canvas and you flip it over on top of your cup which we're using a square canvas. It is, I believe, a 12 by 12. Uh, so what we're going to do, we're actually going to take our canvas. We're going to flip it over. And then what I'm going to do is you flip over the cup. And set, set the canvas back down on top of the other cups that are holding it up. I kind of like to drum on it a little bit, kind of help the... the paint fall. Move it around a little bit. You can already see that paint's coming out. It's coming out really cool already. And then next, you let it go. I like to make sure you get all the paint out. This just helps the like corners, make sure the corners get paint on them. And then you have paint in there, but you don't want to use that leftover paint. So I just like to set that aside over here. So what we're going to do next, we're going to move the paint around. What I mean by that is you pick up the canvas and you let it kind of flow around. I'm going to try to keep as much on the canvas as you can at first. 
Sorry, y'all cannot see that. And there we go. There we go. I am sitting on the floor, so I do apologize about that. Um, but yeah, you just kind of move the paint. get a mixture of things happening. It's really cool what's happening right now is that paint is still mixing together. Still making a mixture. I'm going to set it down here. But as you can probably see, it's mixing on the canvas. If you look, You can see the different colors that mix together. It did get a little muddy up here, but that's okay. Um, you still kind of see all the different colors of the blues, the coral. You definitely get the purple down here. You definitely get that purple in there. Kind of show y'all here. There is the white. There's not a lot. The white kind of helped uh, the the air pockets happen. And what those air pockets did is see all this coral that came through here. That's those air pockets that uh, formed, and when they popped, they allowed for that coral to show through. If those air pockets didn't happen, we'd get purple all over here. This would all be purple right here. But with those air pockets, it allowed this coral to come through. And you can kind of see them. Let's see if I can zoom in a little bit and get that little cluster right there. Can you see that? No, you cannot. Okay. But you can kind of see. You can kind of see what happens when you move it in different directions. With all those air bubbles, it moved and those air bubbles joined and they created this these clusters here. Um, I will go around and I'm going to finish off the edges. And then this will have to dry for about 12 to 16 hours just to get a full dryness of it. Um, depending on the temperature outside, since we are in the garage, um, will depend on how long it really takes to dry. I usually give it about four, uh, about 12 hours to dry before I check on it. Um, and then once I check on it, uh, after that, I kind of look at it and see what the dryness is. If it's fully dry, I can go forward and do hangers and sign it. Um, I usually name all of my paintings. So, um, it will definitely get a cool name because it is really cool. I love how the blues and everything look like they're kind of running down, which is adding to this coral on the bottom. Uh, definitely drop some comments on what you might think of this, what colors you might want to see next, um, what size canvas you might want to see next, or if you want to see uh, me make a coaster set. Uh, definitely be watching for the next video uh, to come out. Um, and don't forget to like and subscribe to Poor Girl if you liked this video. Don't forget to like it. And don't forget to subscribe to Poor Girl to get to see more videos like this. I hope y'all enjoyed seeing um, this creation. And I hope y'all enjoy the next videos to come. Hey there, if you liked the video you just watched, definitely hit the like button, shoot me a comment of what you thought, definitely hit that subscribe button, 
to see what new videos, projects, and techniques I have coming your way.